ladies and gentlemen, tuber enthusiasts, and accidental gardeners. Welcome back to Nature Love. We are dig deep into the earth mysteries. To uncover the sweet secrets of our favorite orange delight, the sweet prero. I'm your host, Missy Han. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and share this video with your fellow spa lovers. Now let's peel back the layers of sweet prero wisdom. Ever wonder why sweet prayers ground in soil bag seems to produce tubers the size of your grandma's casserole dish? Well, fear not, my friends. We have done some rooting around and found out the secret lies in the controlled environment of the soil bag. According to a groundbreaking study from the International Tuber Institute, sweet prairies thrive in the cozy, confined space of a soil bag. The limited space encourages the plant to focus its energy on tuber production rather than sprawling vines. It's like a cozy studio apartment for sweet prairies, small but efficient. Now, let's get down to the nearly gritty, the tuber tug. Switch prattles, being the overachievers they are, loud to spread out and explore. However, in the snug embrace of a soil bag, they channel their energy into creating a sweet prattle family, reunion underground. It's like sweet prattles throwing a secret garden party. And the soil bag is a VIP section. I mean, who wouldn't want to grow their tubers in the swinkest spot in town? Now, you might be wondering, is this soil bag trend global? Absolutely, sweet prattles are globe trading tubers, my friends. Whether you are in the concrete jungles of New York or the serene rice fields of Asia, the soil bag phenomenon has taken root worldwide. Did you know that in Japan, sweet prayers are considered a good luck charm? People give them as gifts for prosperity and good health. And what a better way to share the sweet prayer love than by growing them in the humble soil bag? So, there you have it, the tubular saga of sweet prayers in soil bags. It's like a worldwide underground revolution, but with more flavor and fewer conspiracy theories. If you enjoyed this video, Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment about your sweet prior adventures, and don't forget to share and like your passing along the secret recipe to the world's best sweet prior pie. Until next time, keep digging, keep growing, and keep those tubers tubing. This is Missy Han signing up from Nature Love. And remember, there's no such thing as too many sweet perils. Click here for more tuber goodness.